huge, huge, huge game tomorrow. You know what time it is. It's Steeler time. But this game is bigger than just a regular game. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they don't even have T.J. Watt playing tomorrow. They're, the the rats are bailing on the ship. Everyone's piling on the Bengals for not getting an offensive line, saying they didn't do anything. Jackson Carmen is going to start tomorrow. And Chase is obviously a unique talent due to total stud, but Panay Sewell's looking like a stud too. And, you know, we've been caught up in that debate for months and months and months. And if if the Bengal offensive line is not going to respond, especially tomorrow, if we can, if we are going to get, if Burrow's going to get beat to death by the Steelers when they don't even have T.J. Watt, it's going to open up a whole can of worms, man. So I got to admit, I'm nervous. You know, we haven't beat the ba- this Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh since 2015. You know, last week's game was rough. Uh, you know, Burrow, three interceptions in a row. I still, you know, people are bailing on him too. No Bengal fans are. We're all like still, you know, we're Joe Burrow. You know, Tom Brady's throwing four interceptions, three interceptions like 20 times, so it's not a big deal. So how are the Bengals going to respond? Last year, they didn't even have uh, Jonah Williams, so this will be the first time that he actually is in the game. So, by all accounts, and the Steelers are struggling, we should be able to go in there and whip them. But, like I said, Steelers are the Steelers. You know, they're going to want payback for that Monday night spanking we gave them last year. But anyway, cut it, man. It's going to be good. So, I mean, there's just so much built up in this game. I mean, there's such a difference between going into next Thursday night at 2-1, and one, you know, saying we can be 3-1 and one at one little chunk of the season. See, that's what I hate about the 17th game, you know, we used to do in the quarters, but now a little bit different, but still. 3-1 and one obviously is way better than 2-2, two and two, which we'll, we'd be fighting for. So tomorrow it's it's all going to be coming down. It looks like T. Higgins is going to be out, which sucks. Um, so the most important thing is let's keep Joe Burrow upright, no sacks. And let's get to Roethlisberger. I still say the best way to go about it is take a page from last year in that Monday night game. Just run, 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 then play action, run a little bit more, and then hit him deep. Um, it is interesting to see. You can see guys like Joe and Jamar, they really want to go deep more. But I can see the Bengals argument, the coaches, you know, saying, hey, you know, you got to let the coverage dictate it, you know. But I really like that Kansas City. When you're watching the Chiefs play, man, they dictate. They put the pressure, all the pressure on the defense, you know. But then again, once again, all the questions come back to the line, which I thought was a huge. I thought we made some big upgrades this year. So I don't know if it's a system at this time. You know, maybe the plays take as long to develop or, or just the performance, you know. But I just can't believe with all the changes that were made in the offense and getting rid of Bobby Hart, getting rid of, uh, Turner, those are all good moves. Getting rid of Price, uh, getting rid of uh, Jordan, those are all upgrades, you know. So it should be better than it is. I mean, the Bears, Bears defense is no joke. So maybe it was just a. And we know Mike Zimmer's no joke. We'll get to see tomorrow, man. So I'm not even gonna bother predicting because you know what I'm gonna say. You know, I'm gonna rouse them Bengals, baby. So it's gonna be a stressful game. Let's just pound it out, you know. And um, I'm hoping Joey B that. You know, because he only got to play him once last year, and he, he really got a rough game. But like I said, the offensive line was really decimated last year when they played. Oh, another thing I literally like to see, bravo to the Bengals' offensive line, was they were protecting Joe when he got roughed up on the sidelines last week. There were guys that, the offensive linemen players that came out and protected him, whereas last year, them guys were so soft, soft like pudding, man, and they were just like, it was it was ridiculous, man. They didn't do anything. So, you know, it's a, it's a new regime, but Zach Taylor really... This is a big game, you know, because he's got to show that he can show up for these games and start competing in the AFC North. So can't wait for tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. We're going to see where we're at, what it be. So let's go Bengals, who day. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Remember, protect Joe. Talk to you soon. Talk to you after tomorrow's victory. Who day.